So I'm here at Strathmore University and with me here is Miriam. Yes. Hello Miriam. Hi John. Please introduce yourself. My name is Miriam Wekesa. I'm a fourth year actual science student. I I am passionate about finance and I hope to become a financial analyst in the future. You're a fourth year? Yes. How has it been since you came here? Um since I came it has been it has not been an easy journey. I've always had to put my best foot forward. I've always had to ensure that I do my assignments on time. But generally I can say it has just been okay. Mm. So um where did the passion of mathematics come? I've always loved mathematics since I was in primary. Mm. I can't even state the exact date. Because mm -hmm. in class, normally when they give assignments by the teachers, I'll be the first one to finish them. I'll be the first one to submit assignments. I was the person who was helping people who don't understand. And sometimes I'll even explain it to my fellow students. So I just naturally loved math because I understood it quite easily. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so which high school did you go to? I was in Butere Girls High School. Mm -hmm. It's in Kakamega. So from Butere to Nairobi, how was the shift? From Butere to Nairobi, <laughs> it was not a smooth transition because how things are carried out back in Butere and how things are in Strathmore are a bit different. Mm -hmm. So it took it took a troll on me and mm -hmm. it took me quite a while before I fit in with other students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but after a year or so I was. I was okay. I found, I found good friends, and I was I was right on track. Mm. So for four years, uh, learning the actuarial science, what would you say is the best thing that has come out of it? What is it that you knew about actuarial science then and now uh, that has shaped who you are? Um, which question should I answer first? Any question. Uh, I think something that is different mm -hmm. about actuarial in first year and fourth year is how dynamic actuarial science is. Mm -hmm. You know, coming to Strathmore to do actuarial science, I always thought actuarial is about risk management. Mm -hmm. And actuary is just supposed to work in an insurance or pension firm because mm -hmm. That's what you'll hear from people. And even when you Google, mm. that's the definition you'll get of an actuary. But when I did various units, I actually realized it's just more than risk. It's just more than insurance because you end up learning about finance. You end up learning about stochastic models, meaning that actuary is a very diverse course and it exposes you to a lot of things. You can basically work anywhere. Yeah. Great. Um, so after for the year, what, what, do you, what are your plans? What, what do you aspire to pursue? This might sound ironic, because mm. I'm an actuarial science student, mm. but I do not aspire to be an actuary. Mm -hmm. um, as I've said, actuarial science is not just enclosed. You're just not fixed to becoming an actuary, to mm. becoming someone who is best in the insurance sector. So personally, I aspire to be a great financial analyst. I I hope that after I finish, I'll be able to meet mentors where I'll work, who will guide me in the financial path, and with time, be one of the greatest analysts that, not even just Kenya, probably the world has, and I'll be able to predict so many models and a lot of things that are happening now in the economy. So, uh, you're a student leader here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, where? So I'm a student leader in the, the Strathmarktural Student Society, which is known as SAS. So basically what SAS does is it creates an environment where the students can come and they can feel relaxed. One thing about actuarial science is it's a rigorous course and you find that students don't even have time to, to think about what they'll do after university like you ask. They, they can't even think about their social life because you're probably doing an assignment even on the weekends. So Arturo creates that environment whereby you can come and relax and also learn about what's happening in the industry. So how do we do this? We call different people in the industry. So sometimes we have data analysts, we have um, 
people who are working in the life insurance sector who come and give us a talk on what's happening. And also we have games in between so that we make the session lively. Yeah. Okay. The Actuarial Society of Kenya collaborates with uh, SAS a lot. On what mutual areas do we collaborate with? Um, we collaborate on the talks that we have. Mm -hmm. Sometimes task makes it easier for us to connect with people who are in the industry because they have a wider connection. So they'll probably give us talks on the actuarial profession, how we can benefit from it, the advantages of it. Or sometimes we also have talks on various scholarships, like we have the Chisning Awards and the Road Scholarship. So these are the things we get to know from TASC. Is there much more that can be done to help the students who are pursuing actuarial science course, especially from our task? Yes, mm -hmm. I feel like on the transition of um, transitioning from now university to work, you know, whatever we do in, in school is not necessarily what we end up doing in. In, in our areas of work. So some students are usually a bit confused even getting the internship, you don't know where to start from. So I think the first thing TAS can do is probably uh, probably have like a partnership with the, the, the school and company so that the people who perform well in actuarial science can easily get internships because it was quite hectic getting an internship for my case after third year. I think that's one thing you can do. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we've had that. We'll put that into consideration. What is one thing that you would tell those uh, high school students that want to pursue actuarial science? Um, one thing I'll tell high school students who want to pursue actuarial science is that it's one of the best course that is being offered in Kenya. And if they want to do it, they'll be able to work in various places in the nation. So one, they need to be very hardworking because it's not a course for the week. And they always need to ensure that they put their best foot forward. And one thing I've learned, it's, it's more than being intelligent because most of the people who come to pursue actual science already passed mathematics, already passed KCSE. So they have to manage their time well and they have to be disciplined and ensure everything is done when it's supposed to be done. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Miriam, and thank you for your time. Okay. And wish you the best as you continue to uh, progress in your career needs. Thank you. Have a great time.